What's going on YouTube? I'm Nick the Tutor, and today we're going to discuss the new announced changes to the SAT. Yes, the SAT is going fully online. What does that mean for you as the student or the parent? In this video, I'm gonna break down exactly what the changes are. I'm also gonna end the video by giving you my predictions for the future of the SAT. Will it be around? Will these changes stick? How will it work? In this video, I'm gonna break it all down. So let's get into it. All right, part one of this video, guys, I wanna discuss the changes to the SAT. What are the biggest changes that they're gonna to make to the SAT? So let's get into it. Number one, obviously, the test is going to be online. What does that mean? It's going to be adaptive testing, so it's gonna be given on a computer. Uh, school issued device or your own device, you're gonna to go to the testing center, you're gonna take your device and you're gonna actually take the SAT on that computer. There's gonna be software that you will download, so you're not just gonna be taking it on some kind of like open web page. So they're really doing this to prevent cheating and to make sure that the SAT advances into the new age of online and digital testing. Number two, the SAT is going to be significantly shorter. So what they're saying is this adaptive version of the SAT is going to be about two hours long instead of the traditional three hour long test that we have now. Number three, you're going to get a calculator on the entire math portion of the SAT. Many of you know right now, you do not get a calculator for section three. On this new version of the SAT, you will get a calculator for the whole test. They actually will include a calculator in the app where you take the SAT, so you don't even need to bring your own calculator. They're going to give you one. You still have the option of bringing your own, but it will be there for you. Number four, what they're telling us is the SAT is going to be more relevant to the topics that students learn in school now. Will it actually be the case? I'll get to that later, but that is one of the big messages and big changes for this SAT. Number five, there's gonna be huge changes to the reading comprehension portion of the test. Right now, they have very long and convoluted passages. What they're saying is they're gonna change those passages to shorter passages where you only answer a small number of questions instead of 10 questions at a time. So that's another huge change. What I did was I looked at the PowerPoint that the College Board gave out that actually showed the inside of the new app and I drew some conclusions from that as to what other changes will be. So let's get into that. Number one, section one says it's going to be reading and writing and that's actually going to be 32 minutes long. Uh, that is the first section of the test according to this PowerPoint. I don't know if that's what it's gonna be later, but that's what it said. There's also gonna be a timer visible on the top of the screen. That's how I knew what the timing of the section was. Um, that's gonna be available for students. You can actually turn that off or keep it on if you'd like. Obviously, you might wanna keep that on. And there's gonna be alerts as you take the test. They're gonna tell you, oh, you have this amount of time left, which may be helpful to a lot of students. The second section is going to be math, and that's gonna be 35 minutes long. So we have two of the sections down. What I think they're going to do is just repeat those two sections and give you different difficulty questions. If you do well on the easy uh, questions, then they're gonna feed you harder questions later on. That's how adaptive testing works. They give you easy questions. If you do well on those, they keep moving you up the ladder until you get to the hardest questions, and the students that do well on the hardest questions obviously will get the highest score on the test. Another huge change is there's going to be a 10 minute timed break in between each section of the test. So they're actually gonna have a timer on your screen. You're gonna be allowed to leave your computer for that amount of time, but you have to come back within that 10 minute time period. I think the test is just going to restart itself again, which is part of this easier to administer SAT. They may not even really need that many proctors anymore. So the whole test experience is gonna change. Finally, because this is a computer-based test, you're gonna have extra tools. So you're gonna be able to zoom, you're gonna be able to annotate, you're gonna be able to mark things to go back to, you're gonna have a calculator in the test itself, so there'll be a lot of added features that you would get utilizing a computer instead of pen and paper. All right, so the College Board is actually saying that this is going to be a better test overall, not only for the students taking the test, but also for the schools administering the test. So let's go over some of their claims as to why this SAT is better than what we have now. College Board is saying this test is going to be easier to take. Due to the events of 2020, it was very difficult for students to take in-person tests for the SAT for various reasons. That revealed the fact that an online test was needed. It seems silly to have to go down to an in-person center to write on a Scantron. That's what students have been doing since like the 60s and 70s. So now we all feel, and I think the College Board recognized, that the test just has to move to an online format. It's just much better all around, so I do agree with that change. The other huge thing this will do is give students much more access to take the SAT. If it can be done on a computer, if it can be done on a school issued device, if the College Board can give you, the student, a device to do the test on, every student can take the SAT. There's no reason why they can't. If you're in school and this test is given on that day, 
They can merely give you a computer and you can do the SAT. So I think access to taking the test will go up and that is always a good thing. They're also saying it's gonna be easier for the schools to administer to you, the student. I do agree with that as well. We will not have the possibility of proctoring mistakes if the test is timed on a computer screen. Now, if the proctor tells you the wrong amount of time for the section or makes some kind of mistake, the whole thing can be messed up for you with a computer that's theoretically not going to happen. As I said earlier, the College Board is also claiming that this test is going to be much more relevant to what students are doing in school today. That we'll have to see about, and it's a perfect transition into my concerns about the new SAT. As you may know, there's a number of lawsuits going on right now against colleges. Will those huge lawsuits that are reaching the Supreme Court have some effect on the SAT? I think that's also yet to be seen. My next huge concern and prediction for the future is that this test will not be as relevant to what students learn as they're saying that it is. College Board always tells us that the new SAT is aligning with what students actually do in school. It's aligning with what actually they want to see. And then all the passages are from 1871. So until they have a passage about pop culture icon or current event or you know an existing sitting president or something that's relevant to students today, I think that the SAT is still going to fall short in the relevancy component. Component. I think the powers that be do not understand what you, the students, actually want to read about and to learn about, and they would need to actually seek your advice to make that change effectively. My next concern is that they've changed the math topics. Early screenshots showed me a problem that had a limit that was not a concept that was tested on the SAT math portion before, so they may be changing up the nature of the math topics, which I think is going to get them actually some negative feedback. I think students will not like added math topics on the SAT. My, my final question would be, will the ACT respond? Will the ACT go to a digital format sooner rather than later? When will they do that? Will they do that merely to compete with the SAT or are they going to go in a different path? Who knows? Let's get into my thoughts about this change and then finally my predictions for the future. So here are my thoughts. I think this change is good. The SAT needed to switch something up. People really didn't like the test as it is right now. I mean, no one ever likes the SAT. It's constantly changing and evolving based on students' current taste what students want to see on the test. So I think this was a very smart change for them at a time where they really needed it. What they're saying is the students that participated in the pilot run for this new test really liked it. So that's probably a good sign, but that's also their pilot test. So I don't know if I necessarily trust that, but I do think an online format would appeal to a lot of students. So I think it's a change that will get them some brownie points with all the students out there. I think the change to adaptive testing is smart as well. Making the test shorter will make it appeal to more students. It will also just make it easier for them to take if they can use a device that they already have, just go down to their school and take the SAT. So I think those changes to the adaptive testing and online testing will increase the number of students taking the SAT, which I think is good for the SAT overall, because then more kids will be sending it into colleges. Colleges will see it as more valuable. So it will have a strong ripple effect for the College Board and the SAT as a whole. I do think as much as this is a change version of the SAT, it's going to be largely similar to what we had before. You may not remember this, but going back decades, the SAT did have short reading passages and they did have one or two questions on those reading passages. So I think this isn't really going to be much of a change. Students hated that then, so I don't know why that would be more well received now. Obviously it's a huge change, but I don't know if it's one for the better. That said, what do I think is gonna happen in the future? I think this change is positive. I think it's going to give the College Board at least a temporary boost. More students will take the test. It'll probably be slightly better received by students and colleges, and it may actually bring them back to be somewhat close to the power that it once was. If colleges continue to struggle to make decisions on certain applicants in today's day, I think the SAT does have an important place. We'll see if they execute the changes effectively in 2023 with the PSAT. But that's pretty much my assessment of what's going to happen with the new SAT. Let me know down below, do you think this change is good or do you think this is something that is a terrible idea for the College Board at this time? Comment down below, let me know. If you like this content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It helps us out a lot. Uh, we're gonna be dropping more videos about the new changes to the SAT as things are revealed and released. That's it for me, guys. I'll check you soon. Peace. <laughs>